Okay. Andrew, obviously, um, back in the side, you're playing a lot now, which is a bit unusual, I suppose. Uh, I know you played there, but in France as well. How's that transition been for you? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest uh, change for me was playing or starting to play lock in France. I think that made the role quite easier when uh, they put me in that role two weeks ago. But um, for me, as long as I play, as long as I get the ball, as long as I can contribute, doesn't matter which position I play there. Do you see yourself playing lock a bit more long term, or do you think do you want to return to these trades? No, I think uh, if in nowadays we can cover both positions or more than one position. At the end of the day, that's that's a benefit for the team. So I'd, I really don't mind playing lock or loose forward. Uh, for me, it's not a, not an issue. Just obviously, you guys have had some great results in this first couple of weeks. How, how satisfying was that win against the Sharks, and how much does it change now? Playing New Zealand teams? No, definitely. I think uh, a big confidence booster was uh, playing the sh or giving the Sharks, uh, getting the win against the Sharks, because uh, especially uh, for our conference, at the end of the day, playing against uh, New Zealand times, that, that's where we have to step up. That's where we're really going to be tested, and we're really looking forward to the challenge. Not going to be easy. You know, it's the first game on, on tour, but that's no excuse. Andrew, it's a bit, it's a bit extra trick. Um, I had you so good to connect. New Zealand's span, that um, the story and like of me, we have seen a lot of basic span. It's also a bit trick in our opzicht. What are the expectations that are going to be played? Ah, I still think it's a bit extra trick. I think it's this, this a good trick to play. I think it's going to be a bit extra trick to play. But as I look at a few years ago, you could have been in a lot of bad situations. I would say it's a good trick to play. I think we know what we can do, our expectations are high. So, it is definitely a good trick to play. So looking at the you know, the pack of forwards have kind of laid a nice foundation you know, kind of in, in most of these matches that you've played in the first four weeks. Uh, you know, what's the difference in the, the kind of atmosphere and the kind of the vibe in terms of the, 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 the pack of forwards? I think uh, like the, uh, coming from the vibe, I think uh, the depth we have at the moment, something that we didn't have in, in previous years. I think if we just check all the loose forwards we have this moment, there's crazy good loose forwards and just everyone brings their own little vibe, everyone brings their own bit of bit of experience, especially with Skulk and Dwayne there, they just bring their, their side of things so it's just a, just a great environment to be in and you always get tested if, in, if it's uh, trainings or come match day. Andrew, um, I saw on Instagram you quite enjoyed France, it looked like you were really enjoying it on Instagram, <laughs> <laughs> it might be, uh, Instagram might be a bit... Uh, uh, don't let it fool you, don't <laughs> let it fool you. Um, Obviously, a guy like Henry um, decided to stay, and that, and you're also playing pretty well down there. Mm. Have any thoughts of going, staying there? And, and and while you were there, did you play against your brother? Uh, no, I didn't play against my brother. We played against La Rochelle, um, but just after that, he moved to La Rochelle, so that was just in that time where we missed each other. Would have been nice, um, but I enjoyed my time. There's lots of ups, lots of downs. You don't sorts of external factors there as well uh, that people don't see from the outside but I really enjoyed my time um, maybe going back there maybe not uh, I'll see what happens uh, I really don't have my mind set on anything yet um, but we'll see us um, my contract finish ends off this year don't know if the Bulls have anything planned for me but hopefully they do but yeah we'll see how difficult has I mean obviously that's a difficult decision anyway for any rugby player at your stage of the career, but, mm. but um, now with all the other talk, with the contracting models changing yeah. and these players being contracted, and so much other talk going on, there's so many other factors. Uh, does it feel different this year? Does it feel... I, I personally think so. Uh, personally for me, this is a big decision that I'm going to have to make uh, coming end of this year, especially with my contract uh, expiring. So I, I will have to go sit and think about it. There's lots of external factors coming in now to play and um, but it, again, you have to look at the, the France and the Japanese side. There's always factors with numbers, right. so it's it's difficult. It's really it's difficult. But at the end of the day, you have to you have to uh, size it up, uh, which is better for you as a person at the end of the day, for your rugby and for your career going on. You think that I mean, I mean, if you guys have a good Super Rugby season, I mean, there's quite a few guys going off contract. Yeah, uh, it's going to obviously play a factor. Hopefully, if they can create create something here. Yeah? might help. Yeah, most definitely. Um, if you end up winning this thing, <laughs> it's a whole different ball game at the end of the day, so we'll see. How's it been different for you? What's, I mean, everyone talks about Skulk and Dwayne and, and the experience of the game, but what's been different for you this year? In 
other than the players? Sorry. Well, for me, was uh, the, the whole France experience was quite good. Just learning, seeing guys like Mornay um, and Willem Alberts and Piet van Seel guys, just getting their influence, getting their insights, how they still feel about it. And yeah, that just gave me also a quite sense of where I am in my career. And I think we're coming back from there, it just gave me more peace, uh, like just to enjoy it, just to, to take each game by by as it comes. So yeah. Have you seen the difference? I mean, what, what I mean was, what's the difference here in the. the this year with this pack, with this compared to last year's uh, performances? I just think it's uh, guys that's being picked on, on merit. Um, it's guys that bring brings their vibe uh, each week and uh, yeah, and that's that's what Puerta does. I think Puerta brings out the best in his team, he brings the best out in his management and at the end of the day he crea creates a vibe that you want to perform and you want to bring your best each weekend. On row, um, Saturday, um, playing lock, of course, means that you're going to be tussling with Brody Retallick. Looking forward to that and, and just your thoughts on him as a player? Uh, most definitely. Uh, probably one of the best locks in world rugby. Um, so it's going to be going to, going to be a real test. Um, it's going to have to bring out my best lock game uh, this coming weekend. Um, even though I don't have the experience, um, the, the art will match the match Brody Retallick.